Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My Muslim people, sit down. We need to have a talk. No doubt that you know about all of the oppression that has happened to us, is happening to us, and will happen to us in the future. I'm not going to say where or when or how or who because you know the video will just be taken down. And that's what I want to talk about precisely. Many of you are wondering, why don't they care about us? Why don't they see our struggles and our oppression? Why can't we even explain and display to the whole world what is going on with the oppression in the Muslim lands and our videos get taken down? Where is the outcry from the world? Where is the international community? Where is it? And then it is said by many Muslims, well, if it was that group, it wouldn't happen. If I were this group, it wouldn't happen. And the, the same statement is just regurgitated all throughout the internet. There's a lot of Muslims out there that just don't understand. And on the surface, it doesn't seem fair. It isn't. Nor does it have to be. Who told you that the world has to be fair? It doesn't. We are told in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to hold on to the rope of Allah, all of us together. It does appear on the surface that we as a Muslim people are all on our own. But I want to remind you of something that you probably already know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, al-maluk al-muluk is with us. And when you have Rabbil Alameen with you, what else do you need? Atawakkaltu ala Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim. Ya muqalib al-qulub thabat qalbi ala deenak ameen ya Rabbi. The Muslim people are going through a cleansing, seeing who is who. Allah is testing us, no doubt. Ya Juan, things are bad right now. I do realize that. But when the Dajjal comes, it will be much worse. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to make this book the guide of your life and the priority? For the Muslims out there that don't understand why this is happening, let me explain to you. Every single religion has failed. It is gone except the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every religion has made concessions for immorality except Islam. Every religion's numbers is dwindling except Islam. Every religion has said, okay, we can make concessions for this group or that group. Yeah, we can let that in and this in except Islam. Islam says, no, unwaveringly, no, this is the Quran and the Sunnah and we will stay by it no matter what you think or how you feel. And for those reasons, Islam is seen as a threat, but it is a medicine to the entire planet. But the powers that be do not want medicine. They want people to be sick and to remain sick so that they may rule them. There's no doubt is a plot from Iblis against all of the sons of Adam. Hold tight, Ikhwan, to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of us, Salaamu Alaikum.